Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to do a tips video on positioning when you're in the net. Now, there are three general things that you want to remember when you're playing any game as the goalie. Um, first off, you know, you don't need to come outside your crease. So, just a general rule, don't leave the paint. I've never once been sniped just because I wasn't, you know challenging the guy wildly the most you'll need to do is to the top edge of the crease when the guys at the point or in the slot but never come outside your crease it's it's how you get beat by one timers and you could get sniped because it's easier to lose your angles number two is stay more centered in your net than you think you need to be you don't need to again challenge the guy wildly just i would say become more of a henrik lundqvist style player play deeper in your net uh, but don't play too deep, you will get sniped, and it just limits your motion, but but stay centered, okay? And number three, um, always remember to, you know, stay stay calm, be patient, wait for the guy to make his move, and don't try to track the skater, you know, stride for stride. The skater will move a good five feet before you even have to touch your, you know, movement stick, so just remember... And then another additional tip is smaller movements, you know, count more. Because if you're moving all over the place in the crease, it's hard to stay in position. You'll lose your angles easier, and you're going to get beat very easily if someone's in close. So now that you guys know that, I'm going to actually get into these positioning tips. So when the puck is on the sideboards, you want to stay in line with your post. Uh, because most, I'd say 90% of the time, guys won't shoot from the sideboards. But in that, you know, 10% chance that they do, you're going to be in position for it. And I have had goals scored on me where they shoot from the sideboards and it hits my pad and goes in. But it's just a case of poor positioning. So make sure you're in line with that post and you're like almost touching the post with your skate so that it's not going to beat you. You know, it's not going to hit your pad and roll in. Next, when the puck is down low behind the net, in the trapezoid, you, you have a chance or you have a decision. You can either choose to hold the post, um, or you can butterfly in the middle of your net. Now, personally, they, I think they both have their ups and downs, but hugging the post, it, it guarantees that you'll save the wraparound, but it leaves you vulnerable to one-timers, and it's pretty much the opposite for butterflying. It leaves you vulnerable for the wraparound, but it helps you, you know, stop one time. It's a lot easier, which is something to think about because players love the one timer right now. Um, they think that it worked, that since it worked in 16, it's going to work in 17. Unfortunately for goalies, that is the case. It's working quite well, and a lot of goalies are getting beat by it. But I don't want to spoil too much because I will have a post play tip video coming out. But remember that if the puck is in the corner, always always butterfly because they can't shoot from the corner anyways so there's no point in hugging the post i would just butterfly because they only have three options option a is they throw it back to the point option b is throwing it behind the net and then option c is throwing it in the slot for a one-timer which is what 90 percent of the time players will do next when the puck is at the point make sure you're in the corners of your crease uh you don't need to really Come out and challenge this guy wildly. Stay centered, but also kind of challenge him a little bit. Because if you don't challenge him, he's going to be able to snipe you far side. Or short side, depending on if you're out of position or not. But stay in the corners of your crease. You don't need to come out any past that. Um, but do remember that, you know, screening and deflections have more of an effect in this game. So just be mindful of that. When the puck is in the high slot... Come out to the top edge of your crease around the hash marks, or you can even come to the red paint at the top of your crease. But remember, don't leave the crease. It'll leave you open for a one-timer. But just know that it cuts, it cuts off the angle effectively, um, but I would just be ready for a pass or anything because um, a lot of the time, you know, players will shoot from the high slot, but if there's a guy wide open, they're most likely going to pass it. And one thing I do want to share about this is Players love coming in from the side at the top of the circle, cutting in, and then trying to snipe it short side. And the only thing we as goalies can do about it is just stay and cover that short side. 
you know, and then wait, because remember, we they can move a whole five feet before we even have to move. So stay patient, stay with them, and you'll make the save. Lastly, when the puck is in the low slot or it's, you know, stuck in a pile of feet in front of the net, I just, I recommend just sitting in your butterfly or paddle down uh, and waiting for the puck to hit you. You know, keep up with the puck as best as you can. We don't have that blue arrow uh, tell us telling us where the puck is. So try your best to stay with a group of people. And if somebody shoots, uh, you'll make the save 95% of the time if you're in butterfly. But that's, uh, that's... That's more of like what you should do if there's a scramble in front of your net though. One thing I neglected to say at the beginning was don't 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 think that goalie stances or goalie builds have an effect on your playing style. Now, back in NHL 14, goalie classes made a difference, but ever since 14, they haven't they, they haven't really been noticeable. Um, I just play hybrid this year because I found I was inconsistent with butterfly and stand up for some ungodly reason. Um, so I use hybrid this year, which you guys can experiment with all different kinds of settings and stuff like that. But I just use hybrid, but it's more of a comfort thing. And if you're getting called out by letting in goals because of your stance, whether it's because your stance is too low and you allow a five hole goal or a five or a high shot and your teammates are calling you out for having a low goalie stance and that's why you're allowed a goal, I can 110% guarantee you that stances have no effect on gameplay whatsoever. It's purely aesthetic, so don't don't worry if your guys are chirping you on the team. Uh, just let them know, hey, you know, goalie stance has nothing to do with the gameplay. So that wraps up this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know which tips of video I should do next. And, uh... I'll catch you guys all later, and peace.